I'm doing this video just to show what type of stability that this uh, new load station has. Uh, basically, we have a starting temp of 74.6. I have a power supply that I'm testing right here. Uh, one, I'm going to just test the durability of the power supply. So I'm going to leave this power supply on here for probably about two hours. And then I'm also... I'm uh, going to come back and check to see how much the water temp has risen. The power supply should be fine. I know that it's, uh, it's going to pass with flying colors. Um, but this kind of is sort of like a durability test. And also, again, I'm testing out this new, new load station to see uh, what type of temps that we'll get out of this thing. So uh, I'm going to check back in about two hours. and. And hold on, let me give you a time, 8.45, so I'll be back around 10.45 to take this off. So I'll see you in about two hours. Here we are, an hour in. Uh, power supply still going strong. Uh, the temperature has raised, risen up to 87.2. So everything looks good so far. Um, it is actually rising up slower than I expected. I expected it for it to be at about at least 95. It seems to have stalled out a little bit, but anyway, we're one hour down into the power supply um, load test, so I'll check back in again in another hour. See you then. Okay, so I'm a little bit over. Um, it is, uh, let's see, uh, 10.51, power supply is still on, on my load bank, the temperature rolls up to 98.6, so basically I just demonstrated that the power supply can hold a 40 amp, 45 amp load for two hours, and also that this new load bank is definitely a lot cleaner, um, a lot more useful than that crummy old bucket that I had in the corner over there. Um, just uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and disconnect this just to see how the water looks like. So give me one second. And the power supply is, you know, somewhat, I mean, it's a nice hand warmer, but it's not like, oh my God, I can't hold it or anything. So, uh, they run pretty cool and you just heard how loud it was, uh, after running two hours solid with a, with a 45 amp load, it really didn't sound, uh, the fan didn't sound too hot. So I'm just going to go ahead and lift this and just peek in here to see what we have going on. And like I said before, the, the resistor didn't really make the water dirty as long as the water um, the water temp remained cool. And from the looks of it, everything still looks uh, clean. It's like it's almost just like that resistor down there is brand new. Uh, you can feel the heat, you know, coming off the water is 98.6. It's a nice bath temp, you know. It's like yeah, after you've been in the bath water a little bit. Um, you know, a little bit, and it needs to kind of be refreshed, it's not scalding hot. You know, I'm obviously sticking my hand in it, but for playing around for like 30 minutes before I actually uh, put this power supply on the low bank, so it was at like 69, uh, I got it up to 75, and then I started this low test at 75 degrees, and we got up to 98.6 in two hours, so um. You know, about, uh, let's say, uh, 20, uh, 23 degree rise over two hours. That is, um, shoot, I could just run this all day and not really have to worry about, uh, anything. A successful, uh, load test on the new dummy load, um, here at Lipo Connection Solutions. Tomorrow I gotta make a power supply in the morning. Uh, for a 24 volt customer with four millimeter bullets, so I'll do a video with the uh, the load on this side on these resistors, and we'll see how it reacts. Cause it was, it'll be dumping a lot more power into it. It'll be dumping about a thousand watts 
of power into that resistor. Those are only two 300 watt resistors, so it'll be overdriving them uh, quite a bit, but the water should keep things in check. But uh, I'm rambling at this point. Thanks for watching. Um, uh, like, subscribe, and hell, buy a damn power supply. I'm hungry over here.